Good day, my name is Angelo. This is Nation Voice Tower, your most preferred YouTube channel. Lots of things are happening. Very, very surprising. Yes, and I would not um, love to waste time before I get to the matter at hand. A policewoman has disgraced the Nigerian police force, which Nigerian federal government inclusive. How did she do this? A policewoman was unable to correctly recite the national anthem during a conference and retreat for senior police officers in Imo State yesterday. This is sad. <laughs> this is sad. A policewoman, a policewoman that is not a constable. All right. Um, watch the video. I think um, that should be what will amaze you or what, what will shock you today. Watch this video. After watching, then we'll talk about it. Okay, <laughs> wow. So um, there are police uh, officers in Nigeria that cannot actually recite the national anthem. How? How did they get into the police force? How? I was trying to confirm that. How did they get into the police force? Because with these occurrences, you can't actually believe that there are people who got into the police force through the back door because this is Nigeria. No, because this is um, the Latin American government. Really? Well, let's say only in such a government can you find incompetent people reciting the national anthem wrongly. All right, because I believe so, so well that um, there are good people, there are competent and capable people in that Nigerian police force that will be able to recite this national anthem without any mistake, right? But because uh, this is a government of illegitimacy, uh, she has been given the, the nod to, you know, recite the national anthem. This is not right. This is not right. I feel we should fix this with immediate effect so we don't uh, find ourselves wanting when it comes to, okay, let's take for instance, this lady is promoted and she becomes the IG tomorrow by virtue of promotion or, or any other way, all right, and she goes for an international gathering or maybe, let's not take it too far, a national gathering, maybe somehow something comes up and she's unable to recite the national anthem. The national anthem of which she stands for. The national anthem of the country that she defends. This is a disgrace to the Nigerian police force. I want to follow up this case and see how much reaction um, the Inspector General of Police will do or will give to this. And I will see how much reaction other dignitaries will give to this. Because lots of dignitaries were in attendance. Hope Uzodimma and his cabinet members were in attendance. In this particular gathering, the deputy governor of Imo State was still in attendance in this same gathering. So why disgrace yourself this much? All right. Well, I would um, let that slide, and I will follow it. I will follow it up over time. Now there has been fire in Arise News Studios. Hussein Rufai has um, really caught up with the Bola Tinubu government. He has not given them space to breathe at all. Yes, um, there has been uh, a sort of duel, an exchange of words between um, a Rise News presenter, Hosseini Rufai, and uh, one of the members of the defunct APC Presidential Campaign Council, uh, Mr. Jesuteka Onopasa. <laughs> this, particular, this particular video will shock you. Can you, do you, do you even understand, do you, like, can you now see how much, it, how much uh, more, it is or how, or how hard it is let me use that word can you see how hard it is to defend forgery can you see how hard it is to defend incompetence can you see how hard it is to defend to defend uncapable people or incapable people you know someone who is incapacitated to to work for the government should not be seen around the government all right this man was trying to defend Bola Ahmed, Tinobu's policies that have been enacted in the in a short while and he did not find the right words to. 
Hussein Rufai was bombarding him with questions, but he couldn't own up. <laughs> he wanted to walk away. <laughs> that was the most funny. That was the, that was the funniest part of it. He wanted to walk away from the studios. Well, I think he had his dignity to 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 shield, and he sat uh, back and uh, you know couldn't answer Hussein Rufai's question. Well, I will allow you to watch this video so you'll enjoy it. More analysis after the break. How are Very you? well, thank you. How are you two? Yes, sir. How are you two? How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm Good. Okay. Patriotism I'm means okay. supporting okay. your country at all times, but also supporting the government when they deserve yeah. it. Mr. Onokos, I put it to you that you came here to misrepresent the facts today as regards subsidy removal. President Tinubu are now subsidy gone on inauguration day. And that was effectively pulling out subsidies. So you say he didn't remove subsidy, quoting the PIA law that had been there for a while, is misrepresentation of the facts. That's number one. Number two, since President Tinubu the, got, the, got the, in... The, let the me law, finish, Mr. Nopasa. Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Secondly, hey, don't, don't, since he this, got, this, since this, this, got don't in... Raise, don't raise your voice at me, young man. <laughs> don't raise your voice at let me. Let me finish, Mr. Nopasa. Let me finish. I'm your guest... So since President Tinubu got in, respect me. Since President Tinubu got in, the economy. Out of your studio, if you raise your voice at me, Mr. Nopasa, me respectfully. You may will take your decision it. if you want to. I'm asking a question. You might decide to walk out if you want to. Uh, Mr. Nopasa, since President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. Is at an all-time low as we speak. It has not. Uh, it has not. Let me finish my question. Lie. Mr. Nokbasa, let you me finish my question. You are a liar. Mr. Nokbasa, moderate yourself. All right? Moderate Do you yourself. you know what you are doing? Good. Listen, listen to me. You're not Secondly. Do you know what you are doing? Since you President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. You are pretending to be, and, uh, to be a journalist. The indicators what is are the matter there. with you? Since he Don't came in, the indicators me, are there. I am Number the one, the you cost of the dollar... Me. To the what Naira. Does it matter with you? The cost of the dollar to the Naira has tanked tremendously as a result of the flotation of the currency. All right, that's one. Is that Secondly, Donald Trump's fault? Secondly, Don't you know why Naira tanked? I'm still asking my question. Secondly, Naira it's been an all of your friends because it's been an all-time malaise in the economy as we speak. Uh, cost of living I, gone up I tremendously. All right, and things are really, really south for the economy. So, in all of this, it's been a slopey, downward spiral. What would you have to say about all of this, Mr. Lapasa? Thank you very much for that question, Rufa Hosseini. Please, uh, Dr. Ruben Abati and my, my adorable uh, 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 in-law, uh, Mrs. Mairesi, does anybody have a more reasonable question for me to answer? Because I am not dignifying that insulting question from Rufai with a response. I am not. Mr. Lopez, I will see that you're bailing on my question, and it's all right. It's all right for you to bail out if you don't want to answer it. But I'm it's not all right. evading your question. Listen, <laughs> Please Rufai, answer it if you can. Rufai, you listen. <laughs> listen to me. This is not animal psychology. It is law. Okay? If you want to be a journalist, you can be a journalist. And you should learn the ropes for those ahead of you. Mr. Nogos, you answer my question. My mates. You can never be my mate. You can never. Mr. Nogos, answer, answer okay. the question. Dignify yourself. Mr. Mr. Jebut says that dignify yourself and answer the question. My God. Please. Dignify yourself. Please, and can, answer we the have, question. can we have peace? Dignify can yourself and answer the question. Can we have peace in this studio? My God. Can we have what's, peace? What's wrong? Wrong with this badly brought up little boy mr nakbasa mr nakbasa respect me mr nakbasa please please calm down mr nakbasa i didn't disrespect you for the last i just asked the question please mr uh, nakbasa you Dr. Basi, let him answer the question. Uh, okay do we and end this program better, now better than one of you that. will not allow me to talk do, should we end the program Dr. no Dr. there's a breakdown of law and order please dr basi go no, ahead no maybe we end it well, no we can end it no go ahead let's go ahead please i'm appealing Oh, okay, we'll take a short break. All right. Yeah, he was waiting for Ruben Abati, who obviously works for Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and uh, Myro, who, is his, who, is he, who he alleged, or who he said, or he claimed to be his in-law. So he thinks that um, 
arise this interview is all about sentiments. No, sir. No, sir. Mr. Wanopa, sir, you have to answer this question today or tomorrow. Anytime I see him, I will ask him that question. Be it next year, anytime I decide to <laughs> come in and I see him, I will ask Mr. Wanopa, sir, that same question. Why was he trying to be violent? Why? Why was he trying to be violent over the whole thing? All right, this was just a simple question. And all of a sudden, he's like, Rufa is rude. Rufa. <laughs> well, well, uh, let us allow that slide. Yes, but we won't let it slide forever. We'll pick it up because uh, Mr. Josuteka Onopasa must have, uh, you know, eaten lots of money from Bola Ahmed to know that he has been able to, you know, remember any other thing in government. Yes, that is that. But um, I would not um, love to give m m m much importance to Mr. Onopasa because Mr. Jesuteka Onopasa has been someone who has really, really, you know, been on the bad side of um, everything. He has not really liked Rufai for once. If you noticed before the video, his head was down. <laughs> the, uh, when Osen Rufai was saying hi, he couldn't even say anything. Right, Osen Rufai was trying to, you know, of course, compliment him and say hi for coming to the studios. He could not talk. <laughs> well, that is that. On the River State Crisis, I don't want to talk about it, but Nyesom Wiki has uh, really addressed a press conference. Not on the River State Crisis, yes, so don't get it twisted. He didn't speak on the River State Crisis, which I expected him to. He did not even speak about Governor Sim Fubara, but he actually gave an update on the road maintenance network and repair network of the Federal Capital Territory. Please watch this video. More analysis after the break. Today, uh, Council approved the award of contract for the construction of access roads for the light, the Abuja light rail. We are aware that Mr. President has given a directive that he must want, he will want to ride on the uh, metro line. And now it will not be possible if there are no access roads to commuters, to communities around. Last week, council did approve about three but this one has to do with lot four. Lot four has to do with communities around the airport and then where you have the, uh, the hatch camp. If you don't create parks, if you don't put access roads, it will be difficult. And so we, the council decided to approve this to Mr. CCECC at the cost of 5.9 billion. We believe with this, Access will be created and car parks. Uh, we believe, hopefully, by next year, uh, most of us will be joining the, the metro line. Thank you, and God bless you. <laughs> yes, I'm Wiki. Did you notice anything about that video? Did you notice something about that video? Yes, I'm Wiki was now humble. Yes, I noticed he's now humble. He was not, you know, his normal, aggressive self. Oh, he was not really uh, the aggressive guy, the commanding guy as usual. He was very humble. In fact, Nyeso Mwike, after talking, passed the mic to somebody else. <laughs> Do you understand? I was shocked. I was shocked. So, uh, well, I, I, I can't believe that uh, Nyeso Mwike can be this humble, you know. So, I think uh, this is better. Yes, um, Godfathers uh, or the relationship between Godfathers and Godsons in politics should be upturned so that people like um, Nyeson Wike will begin to be humble. You know, I have never seen Nyeson Wike in this humility. But aside that, um, the road maintenance network update from Nyeson Wike and um, Dave Umahi, although uh, Dave Umahi was, in, uh, not, was not in that video, was uh, commendable, commendable, I would love to say. I think out of all the ministries, that have been enacted by the illegitimate government of uh, Siwaju, Bola, Ahmed, Tinubu. I think um, Yeson Wike and um, um, Dave Umahe have been uh, doing the audio work. Yeah, let's say audio work. We've not uh, seen any completed work yet, so we won't give them applause until we see completed work. They have been doing the audio work and we've been seeing it all around on telly, physically and all everything, okay? We've been hearing updates about that. So, kudos to these two ministries. Um, for really putting hands on deck. I think these are the only ministries that have worked so far 
over time. I'm yet to hear any yet. There are, but I'm yet to hear any that has gone this far. Right? So kudos to Nyesom Wike, who is embattled by his godson, Seminalai Fubara. Alright, now um finally, uh my last update will be on um of uh, the former NBA chairman, Dr. Barrister Olisa Abakoba. I told you I was waiting for his reaction. He has come up to react on the Supreme Court case. One. And he has also reacted, most importantly, to the comments of retiring Justice Muhammad Dettijo. And uh, what Justice Dettijo said in uh, his, final, uh, his, his final address to um, the NBA and the NJC and the Supreme Court uh, was, um, well, it was quite explanatory, but... But Olisa Abakoba has a different view. I don't know why he has this view. I don't know why he's sentimental about the, the address of Justice Dettijo. Okay, so I will allow you to watch this video. When you watch it, I will now tell you what I think uh, 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 Abakoba, Olisa Abakoba did wrong. All right, watch this video. Mr. Justice, um, Dettijo Mohammed was not referring to the current CJN. He used the... The, he, he, he used the CJN's office and not the personal status of Mr. Justice uh, Ariwola to describe the rot. The Supreme Court is at this time toxic and it ought to change. And the only way to change is to begin to implement the report. One of the problems, I mean, the only thing I'll criticize the CJN for is when he said we are down to 10. But it's for him to appoint or recommend. The CJN is, as you know, the chair of the Federal Judicial Service Commission. So he is the one who recommends judges. And he's also chair of the uh, National Judicial Service Commission. So he receives the report he has prepared and implements it. So I don't know what's holding him. There is nothing holding the NJC from filling the, the, the gap and making the judges 21. Every day they keep bickering about workload. But they will not do what they're supposed to do. They have, they now have the budget. So I think the way out of all this, in my personal view, is to just dust up this report that Justice uh, Dahiru Mustafa prepared 13 years ago, implement it, and let's see what will happen. Because confidence is needed. The judiciary is suffering from a very low ebb of confidence, which is not good for democracy. And that, af that affected the, 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 the recent appeal, the uh, election petition appeal. But as uh, Justice Oputa said, once the Supreme Court pronounces, it's final. So we've all got to respect it and move on from there. Okay, welcome back. So uh, according to Olisa Bakoba, you want to tell us that Justice Dettijo did not know what he said. He was referring to um, the, the seat of the CJN. He was not referring to the personality of the CJN. What is the meaning of that? What are you trying to say? Did just, was that Justice Dettijo mean same words when he spoke? Do you understand me? Justice Dettijo did not mean words when he spoke. The CJN has been the CJN for the past years, right? So if there has been incompetence as a result of appointment, that means the CJN is held responsible, not his seat, not his office, his personality. Because the seat entails that he should appoint. But his personality has refused to do it. <laughs> it is the seat of the CJN that refused to appoint those judges is it still the seat of the CJN that has been incompetent all the while? No, the personality there. That is why when you are not working, you are taken out. If this were to happen in another sector, that a public officer was not carrying out his fundamental duties according to how it is supposed to be and according to his job description, description he would have been sacked. If the person is sacked, will it be the CJN that was sacked? Will it be the CJN seat? Or office, I beg your pardon, that was sacked. No, he's the CJN. The personality was sacked. So I don't understand why Olisa Abakoba is trying to play law and logic with this uh, statement or this address of Justice Dettijo. <laughs> Please, we are not little children in Nigeria because there are Nigerians that have that are actually widely read. Okay, there are Nigerians in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Yes, that are widely read. Okay, so you should be able to, you know, uh, come out and, um, let's say, uh, crystal clearly, uh, make explanations if you need to. If you don't know how to, you stay in your house. Don't uh, grant uh, 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 an interview when you, you, you can't stand for the truth. 
okay justice dirty joe knew what he said and he stood on his grounds that was why he made the statement with no equivocation whatsoever if you can remember he said it he said it with no fear fearlessly he knows why he said it all right so abakoba should stop playing politics with us thank you so much for staying this far on our updates i hope you enjoyed our updates before i call it quits please like our videos share them watch till the end don't forget to drop a comment for us in the comment section if you're watching me for the first time please tap the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you get to see me firsthand and first time when i drop a new update see you next time bye